Out of Hartford All Access. I'm Brian Arizari here with Coach Rosati uh, coming off a 68 43 win yesterday at the Chase Family Arena. Uh, we're a game past the midseason break, but if you had to give a grade to your team at this point, what would you be? A grade? Um, probably B minus C plus. Um, and why is that? You know, I think that we've we had some games that we were very capable of winning and really didn't um, make plays at the end to find a way, whether it was a defensive play or an offensive play. Um, you know, some of that was due to injuries and not being at full strength, but we certainly aren't a program that wants to make excuses, so I feel like we, we could have been a little bit better than 4-4, four and, four. and uh, we did grow up a lot, and I do feel like we got better, but um, hopefully by the end of this month we'll be a lot more in the age. We talk a little bit about the non-conference schedule and how you guys piece it together and try to prepare for the conference schedule. Yeah. Can you pinpoint something that you might have learned in your non-conference game, maybe it was a loss or a win, that you were able to pick up a win in conference play? Well, I thought that, you know, in the month of December, we really made, recommitted ourselves to defense. We talked to the kids about slowing down our offense so that we can get better focused and um, have more energy to play great defense every single possession. And although it, it resulted in a lot of low scoring games for us and not very many wins, I do think the kids really understood that that was what was going to bring us forward. So, Although our offense has picked up since and we've run in transition more and we've been able to utilize our depth and I feel like we're in better game shape, I do think that focus on defense really helped prepare us now uh, for the next stage, which was getting those wins the conference. Let's talk a little more specifically in regards to players. Has there been one player that you've been surprised with uh, their development so far? I don't know that I'm really surprised. Um, I would say I'm um, pleased with our sophomores and how much they've kind of matured over this year. And, uh, I feel like each one of them, Alex, Daphne, Rupan, and Kia, have really understood and started to understand what their role is on this team and how to score in our offense and how to be a reliable defender and how to be a leader at a young age. But I would say overall the person we've had to depend on a lot through the injuries and has really come through for us is Taylor Clark. Um, she, her numbers aren't, you know, outstanding or impressive. She's not scoring a lot of points or getting a lot of rebounds. But she's had to play a lot of minutes for a freshman and be in a starting role as a freshman. And it's just not easy to do that. I'm a pretty demanding coach, and it's hard to play for me early in your career. But she's managed to weather the storm and improve a lot and be somebody we can really depend on on the defensive end. And now you've started to see her offense come along. So I'm certainly um, not surprised, but I'm pleased with her development because I think we needed it. We needed her to come along and have another close presence for us, especially when we can and we were both out with injuries. Now, obviously, there, there are injuries. And coming into the season, um, did you expect something from a player that you haven't seen just yet and they're kind of unpossible, possible? I think that probably two of our upperclassmen that have been a little bit up and down for us this year have been Jackie and Alicia. Uh, Jackie, in a way, that as, as much as she's always very dependable for her effort, I feel like she's put a lot of pressure on yeah. herself and she plays tight sometimes where she's overthinking the game instead of just naturally playing like she did all of last year. And that's caused her to be a little bit inconsistent for us, but obviously she plays a lot because she's still our leader, she's still the best at organizing us, and her effort is so great. And then I would say Alicia, she's obviously very dynamic. Um, she's put together a lot of, of games in a row where she's been able to give us a lot on the offensive end. She's been a reliable defender, but she's fought some sickness and some injuries, and she still has her up and down moments. And so if both of those guys can finish the season as good as they're capable of being, that's when I think our team is going to be our best. So you started off this conversation mid season review, giving your team a B minus with the rest of the season going, knowing that you're not going to really pull a surprise on any of your opponents or vice versa. What do you expect the rest of the night? Well, I, you know, the, the funny thing is with us is we don't ever really get anyone's off night. You know, yeah. we're not surprising anybody. We might look different. We might have different players out there, but we're still getting everybody's best shot, which is good for us. Um, so, you know, th with, with seven games remaining in the, in the regular season, um, you know, we're hoping to win, hopefully all seven of them. I don't know if that's uh, too unrealistic of a goal, but we've certainly been in all of the games that we've lost, and we've led a lot of the games that we've lost, and we have lacked that finishing touch. So I'm hoping that we'll develop that over the next month and uh, make a run for this and put ourselves in a great position seed-wise, but also more importantly, confidence and momentum-wise going into the American East Tournament. As always, thanks for coming. That's Coach Jenna Rosati and I'm Brian Arizari, and this is the Mid-Season Review here on Hartford Hall Access.